By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. Anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> will you fight? <laughs> will we triumph? Your Herald! Your Inquisitor! So this is where it begins. Our search will take us to every corner of this land. The beautiful, the dangerous, the ancient places where no one walks alone. This is the world we're trying to save.
where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Hey, enough! You're taking his side? I said enough! We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but he had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy... Varric's not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Exactly! And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ah, I understand. He did bring Hawk. Late, perhaps. But Hawk is with us. As are you. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Good thing I still like you. I'm serious. You think I'm not? I want you to know. I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. I don't know how it will end. But I would have it no other way. Maker, you're a mess. Let me have a look at you. Are you all right, my dear? Were you hurt? You look dreadful. I'll be fine, don't worry. You bear it well. Good. The troops will take their cue from your composure. Now, let's keep up appearances. You've handled this crisis competently, saving as many lives as you did. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. For every person I saved, two more were cut down. I failed them. You haven't failed them, my dear. The men and women who fight for you gave their lives for a great cause, and they fought to the end. The rest still fight, and you will fail them if you give up now. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first, and teach them to fear us. I think you know what needs to be done, my dear. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... Do you ever sleep? If Corythia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but... It's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. 
Inquisitor Trevelyan. I wasn't looking for another title. It sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader. You have proven yourself. If we need to start over, Skyhold seems as good a place as any. Once repairs are complete, it will be a strong base of operations. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. Indeed, my dear. He may call it whatever he likes, but it is still a threat. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one, and yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right... Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close. With so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes. But here is where I can help. Every breath slower. Like lying in a warm bath. Sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty, here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. 
I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes. Helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. Cassandra's calmed down. I think you can take your hand off your crossbow. Define calm down for me in terms of who or what she's punching right now. I wasn't trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. I bet Cassandra regrets how things went back there. You should talk to her. I appreciate that you're trying to keep the peace, but things between me and the Seeker are as good as they'll get. I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. More likely, they would have stayed out there, died. And we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus... We are better than Corypheus. Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> Did you now? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinter, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the Blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very Magisters, a Dark Spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say Dark Spawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Dark Spawn. What other explanation is there? We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True. 
He might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or insane. But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. Last I checked, the Blights hadn't actually destroyed the world. Not for lack of trying. If they were more clever, they'd have unleashed something that would really do the job. <laughs> I have no intention of letting Corypheus win. Not without someone from Tevinter standing against him. It would have been nice if you'd helped stop Alexius. But that's not how things went. So be it. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay and help the Inquisition. You'd really fight your own countrymen. Southerners like to think of the Imperium as nothing but slavers and cultists. Why not? That's all you see. But it's not true. Some Tevinters are not only handsome and well-dressed, but rather put off by all that rot. So, I'll happily kill cultists or anyone who thinks a Darkspawn god is the way of the future. What if this is a ruse? The Venatori could have captured you, sent you here. Rather elaborate, considering they'd need to have assumed you'd escape Haven. But I am the ideal spy. Charming, clever, perfect teeth and hair. It all fits. How about this? Let me help, and you can hang me later, if you wish. I look good in rope. We can use all the help we can get. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? That attitude must be why they kicked you out of the Imperium. <laughs> they didn't kick me out? Well, only because they never got around to it. Eventually, they might have. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Good book? Ah! Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, because I suddenly went blind. Oh, that. Just reports from Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales, Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. The latest chapter? Meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. Why don't I believe you? It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No! Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You! You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. You said he was a darkspawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corivius really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. If you and Hawk defeated him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. 
No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. We tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it, don't worry. I hope you're right. Baker's breath, what have I let loose? You had nothing to do with this, Fairy. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carter to that ruin... But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. That's exactly what I just said. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial? For Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition. I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. Don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, <sighs> completely worth it. Planning troop movements now? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next... I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. 
That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. You almost sound like you admire me. I absolutely do. I may not always agree with your decisions, but how many could do what you have done? You were a prisoner, accused and reviled, yet you've emerged from every trial victorious. The Maker's grace does not make you immortal. You live or die by your own hand. That is worthy of admiration. If I'm guided by anything, it's you. Oh, excellent. The blind leading the blind. I don't think you're blind. Clearly, you haven't been paying attention. Haven't I? When we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. But I am. The Maker chose well. I don't know if I deserve that. Who knows where I could lead us? We'll have to see, won't we? We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here.